Hi guys, today I have a delicious, healthy recipe for you if you love peanut butter. I absolutely love peanut butter and I love peanut butter cups, but I don't like the fact that they have so much added sugar in them. So I decided to try and make them myself and they are absolutely delicious, easy to make and healthy as well because they have no added sugar. Let's get started with the recipe. For this recipe, you need peanut butter. I'm using a crunchy peanut butter. Then you also need almond meal, coconut oil, some of your favorite dark chocolate, and a little bit of sea salt. This is optional, so you can add it or you can leave it out. First, I'm adding the peanut butter to a big bowl and giving it a short mix. Then adding in the almond meal and here I'm adding just about half of my total amount, mixing it in and checking the consistency. The peanut butter from different brands is very different, so you want to adjust the amount of almond meal that you're adding depending on the consistency. So here you can see the mixture is still very oily or buttery and I want it to be slightly drier so I'm going to add just a little bit more almond meal give it a mix and then check on the consistency again how you can also check it is to form the peanut butter balls so what I'm using for that is an ice cream scooper you can also form them with your hands and then you are going to see if the ball keeps the shape then you know that the mixture is ready then you want to use the ice cream scooper or a tablespoon to form the peanut butter balls and place them on a parchment paper on a cutting board so that you can place them in the freezer after that then you want to freeze them for about 30 minutes or until firm so here I'm checking and you can see they have hardened, they keep their shape and we can continue with the chocolate. For the time you're prepping the chocolate, you want to place the peanut butter balls back in the freezer. Just finally chop the chocolate, add the coconut oil and slowly melt it in the microwave. You want to melt the chocolate in 30 second intervals and mix in between. This will make sure that you don't overheat the chocolate. If there's only a few pieces left, then these pieces will just melt by mixing them with the rest of the chocolate. Once all of your chocolate is nicely melted, you can start coating the peanut butter balls. I'm doing that using a fork and then I'm also using another fork to assist me while placing the coated peanut butter balls back on the parchment paper. Then you want to allow the chocolate to set just a little and then sprinkle some sea salt on top. If you don't like sea salt on your sweets, then you can also decorate with some peanuts or some other nuts or you can also leave the decorations out. After you've coated all of your peanut butter balls, you want to allow the chocolate to set. I like to place them again in the freezer for about 5 to 10 minutes before I transfer them into my airtight container and then I also like to keep them in the freezer but you can also store them in the fridge. I hope you enjoyed my homemade peanut butter cups recipe. I keep mine in the freezer because I find that they make um, a really great snack in the summer. They are just like peanut butter ice cream. They're nice and cold out of the freezer. This way they also keep longer if you can keep your hands off them because they're so delicious that I run out of them really fast every time I make them. I find that these uh, peanut butter cups are a great treat if you're trying to keep up the sugar a little so they're still sweet even though you don't add any sugar to them or they also make a great snack in between meals. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget that thumbs up for support and also if you're new to my channel then you can subscribe right now and don't forget to tap the bell so you won't miss any of my new videos. Thank you and bye bye until next time.